Uh, oh yeah, our our favorite our favorite actual journalist here, actual journalist, derogatory, Alyssa Mercante. There's a story I've been simmering that I really want to pick back up again. If anyone has any connections to a prominent female Twitch streamer slash gaming personality who leans very hard into Christianity and homophobia, DM me or email me at link in bio. I'm particularly interested in people who knew this person before their sharp rise in popularity. So after Kotaku quote-unquote journalists were told that they're no longer going to be making news articles. No longer. No longer going to be making news articles. They must write the game guides for the gaming website they work for. Alyssa Mercante said, you know what? Writing game guides is actually not a good idea for me, a games journalist. I would, I would rather return to sex work than have to play a video game. So in light of this, instead, I will write hit pieces on Twitch streamers. What the fuck is going on at Kotaku? What? What the fuck is happening? Did I see where Uncle Dr. Turtle Boy got mentioned in the Boston Globe? I did it! Give me the ring! I love my Uncle Dr. Turtle Boy! Aren't gay ops supposed to be secret? I mean, when you're a journalist and you can get away with it because everybody will circle the wagons and lie for you and say that you're not the one doing the harassment. Like, if you, if you can do it in public and get away with it, why the fuck wouldn't you, right? They are very brazen. The brain worm is going into overdrive. What do you mean? Best Twitter journalist is Howling Mutant. Never heard of him. Well, they've infected the scarlet brain rot. I'm just like, I'm pretty sure they're talking about Melanie Mack. I'm, I'm pretty sure that's what they're alluding to. That's the only person that comes to mind when, when Alyssa Mercante says this.